This is happening today. I am not going home today. <laughs> now, I don't care about the other patients. I I'm sorry, I just care about my son. Are you saying that my child is not a priority? My boss will not care. I'm gonna get fired. I'm going to get fired because of your mistake. This has messed up so many things for me this week, I can't even tell you. No, you don't understand. Do you understand that kind of pressure? I was told that this was urgent, that this procedure was urgent for Sam. Is it not urgent? What works best for me is that it happens today. I'm not going home today. Who's gonna look after my kids when I come back here? Hmm? Well, then someone else can do it because we're not going home today. Someone has taken his slot, so he can take someone else's slot today. Your apologizing isn't going to fix this situation. Don't tell me to calm down. This is your fault. Oh, can you get a babysitter for my kids? Can you get a day off work for me? I don't think so. Excuse me? This is ridiculous. No. Yes. I don't care. You're not listening to me. Hi. Um, I've never met you before. Are you new? Right. Okay, I see. Yeah, he's supposed to have that done any minute now, I believe, finally. <laughs> We've been waiting for so long. What? No, 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 no. Dr. Lacey told us we would definitely have the procedure done today. Sam is supposed to be going into theatre to have a pick line inserted this afternoon. Do you know if he's going to go soon? We've been waiting since 1pm and he's getting really hungry and miserable. No, 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 no. Don't just tell me that you're the messenger. No, no, that's not on. You are responsible for this decision, so you are responsible for giving me a solution. I don't want to go home. I cannot come in tomorrow. I have a work presentation, so it has to be today. No, no, that can't happen. I had to take a day off work today. My parents have come down from Glasgow. They, they don't live here anymore. I don't have any babysitters. What am I supposed to do? This is ridiculous. No, I don't care what happened. This, this is your mistake. We, we were told that this would happen today. So you can't just come in here and tell me there's an emergency and it's not happening today. You need to find someone else to do it. But he's already been sedated and he's ready to go in now. You can't just cancel. What if there's another emergency tomorrow? Can you guarantee that Sam will have the procedure tomorrow? Sam is a priority. Excuse me, but he is a priority. Well, no one told me that. No, you're not listening. Nobody told me that. Nobody, nobody told me that there could be an emergency and this would be cancelled. Then at least I would have prepared myself. I would have had that as an option. You can't even confirm that. Is that what the hospital expects? That I'll just have to come back every day? That I'll have to keep putting him through this? Getting an IV line, screaming, crying. My three-year-old son doesn't understand what's going on. I can't come in tomorrow. I have a presentation to do at work. What am I supposed to do? Just ring up my boss and say, oh, you know that day I took off work for my son's procedure? Well, the procedure isn't actually happening today. It's happening tomorrow, so I can't come and do the presentation. It's for clients in America. They've flown in all the way from America. What am I supposed to do? N nobody told me about that. Nobody told me that there could be an emergency and, and that he, he wouldn't have the procedure done today. And it, He's been waiting such a long time for this. It's what he needs. Like, I know he's not an emergency, but he is sick too. I would like you to be more proactive and offer me some solutions because what have you done so far? You've just come in, you've been delivering bad news and then you're going to leave again? It's like, oh, tick, I've told that patient. No, that's not on. I mean, how is it gonna benefit my son to go through another half day without eating? He's already so skinny. It's so hard for him to put on weight. I mean, I was told 
he would have the procedure today and then he could eat afterwards. This is not on. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> How can you put him through that again? I don't even know if I can come in tomorrow. My parents live in Glasgow now. They've had to fly all the way down here to look after my two other children. You know, I'm a single mum. I don't have access to childcare and it is, I don't have access to babysitters. It is so difficult for me to take a day off work. So I don't even know if I can come in tomorrow. I know, honey, I'm sorry. We'll be home soon, okay. I know, baby, we'll eat soon, okay. What I would like is to have the procedure done today. He needs food. Look how skinny he is. You don't understand how hard it is not being able to feed him when he's hungry. I want to speak to someone else. When will Dr. Khan be available or Dr. Lacey? So on the day of my son's procedure, none of the doctors we've been dealing with are on the ward. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Then I'll wait for them to be available. Sam can fast for a few hours, then we can get it done. Please? Is there absolutely nothing you can do? I, I can't come in tomorrow and, and my son, I, I can't keep putting him through this. Can you please just check? <sighs> 